I spent 10 hours watching and researching why this viral video series was so successful, and I think I finally found the secret. Watch this entire video to figure out what it is, why it's effective, and how you can use it in your videos regardless of niche. I realized that one of the main pieces of success for this video series is how it challenges beliefs. In this case, it's taking the hero of the story in Zach Morris and turning him into the villain. <laughs> Not by trickery or manipulation, but simply by reframing all of his actions. Found days. Zach does nothing to assist or call for an ambulance. This contrarian approach is so interesting and it piques people's interest and gets them to click. I like to call this the Skip Bayless effect, but more importantly, it elicits an emotional reaction based on a previous belief, which is what's gonna get engagement and clicks. I mean, after all, which one of us haven't had a screaming match about politics over Thanksgiving? So there we go. Retention increase, right? No, because there's three other things I discovered about this series that can really help you increase your retention and engagement. This series is retelling a story with the characters, the motivation, the plot, and everything else. Even for those who haven't seen one episode of Saved by the Bell, they can still relate to the characters and the themes that are being recapped without having to fully invest in a half hour episode, which makes it really easy to watch. I discovered I was looking forward to something entirely different than what I've been talking about, which is going to help you increase in retention and engagement for your audience, which is there were recurring jokes in this series that I was looking forward to over and over and over again. And when they came up, I felt satisfied. You can create the same feeling and create an in language for your own community. In other words, if people say the saying or the joke or the phrase, they are going to look for people who recognize it and you all are in on the joke. But just because we have a video series that has a contrarian approach and tells the same jokes, doesn't mean that tells the full story of what is going on. And it's something you need to know in order to replicate the success. Because I couldn't help but feel that there was something deeper going on than just this. Because there had to be something more that could be gained from this show. It's not just entertainment. And I realized that this series is actually a pretty savvy commentary on nostalgia. It was poking fun at our collective obsession with the past and our tendency to romanticize it. And in doing so, it was making a very important point. Just because something is popular or beloved in the past doesn't mean it's still relevant or meaningful today. Okay, so this is how this video series compels us to watch it over and over again. But how can we as small creators utilize this knowledge for our own videos? One way to do this is to create reaction videos to something that's popular in your niche today. Because as things get popular, inevitably there are going to be people who don't like that. That means that there is a group of people who might have similar criticisms that you have. This could be a great opportunity to address those questions and concerns. Make sure that it's genuine and respectful because you don't want to be making friends or creating a channel that's only for trolls. Another approach is to take a popular idea or theory within your niche and challenge that. Not only is this a great way to spark some debate, but might also get your audience to think critically. There's a key here that you have to make sure of. Research your topic thoroughly and be knowledgeable with an open mind. You don't want to come across as closed-minded. Or if you're a review channel, consider taking something that's generally hated and find the good parts about it. When I had a movie review channel, I took some really bad movies and I would try and point out the good things about it, which actually created some really great engagement for that channel. Another channel that does this with movies is called Cinema Wins, which is a contrast to the channel Cinema Sin. It could be a great way to be provocative and also engage your audience in a meaningful way. These strategies can really do a great job with some individual videos, but they have to align with what your channel's purpose is about. And if you want to construct your channel the right way to get more views and more subscribers, check out this video right up here.